Hello, my name is Keith Pascoe and I'm here with Tim Telford at the DIT, the Conservatory of Music and Drama in Dublin. And we are looking at Schubert Sonatina, uh, the Andante uh, of the D major Sonatina. And we're going to discuss the independence of the left and the right hand on the violin. Uh, there's something, your, your own teachers probably told you about how the left and your right hand um, they like to two naughty children. You have to keep them apart. You cannot. One wants to influence the other one in a very negative way. So you have to actually keep them at arm's length. So they do independently different things. They have different personalities. They have different jobs to do. They're, they're completely different people. All right. So you must try and remember this because what inevitably happens is one hand wants to copy the other hand. So for example, if you've got something complicated happening. In your left hand, your bow wants to try and imitate the left hand. Okay. Whereas we're trying to get completely independent. In other words, the bow. If you just in, it's actually trying to do the same muscles. It, it's just it's trying to do the same thing. So if, it's, if, it's, if the left hand's doing this, the bow wants to do this. Okay. okay. You're yeah. doing this with the left hand. The bow naturally just wants to do the same. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas, so for, in, for example, if we did it without the left hand, this would be interesting. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Good. So let's just try and let's, so the, the the actual tune should be. But if we do it without the left hand, it will come out sounding like this. That's good. okay. Yeah. So can you just do that for me? Yeah. Definitely. Interrupting the flow of the bow just with this fella here. Okay. Just going like this. Yeah. The, ro the rotary action of my wrist, which is going like this. Okay. 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 So it's the bow is actually not stopping. What's happening is this thing is going giving okay. a kind of impulse. Yeah, okay. okay. So just practice that for me, the, the actual idea of um, it's called portato that stroke. No, but yeah. I'm, I'm, okay, you, so I'll tell you why it's not good. Because what happens when you do this? You, you lock your wrist. Try moving your wrist now, just spread your fingers wide apart as possible. Now try moving your wrist. It's very hard, isn't it, to actually move your wrist when your fingers are stretched out. So, so in other words, be, be conscious not to be too stretched, too spread out. Because you, you very, find it very hard to move your wrist. And you need to move your wrist when you're moving the bow, because the wrist keeps the bow parallel to the bridge. Okay, so um, getting back to the oh, yeah. issue, let's, just, let's try the legato again. Right, now just, just let's go back to the first phrase playing without the without left hand, so just so yeah. string crossing as well. So when I play the. Uh, no, no, just, 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 just the bow, yeah. yeah. Just, on the G -string. just the bow, yeah. Now, 
just do the left hand and let him want, I want to see what, what's up. Mm -hmm. Great, okay. Now put the two together. I'm going to try four times on it. Okay. Do once again without the left hand, because you, you, you play slightly differently because you're affected, as I was saying, the left hand is affecting the right hand. Mm -hmm. I want you to get exactly the same when you play, when you add the left hand, you do it without it. Okay, okay. So, so just do it once without. We've now got the two hands working independently. Mm -hmm. Now, pretend you've got two naughty children. Okay, so don't let one influence the other. They have to absolutely independently do their own thing. Great. That's, that, that, that's, that's very good. Now, there's, there's one other factor now. Um, it's crossing the string. Uh, going to help us is the left hand because if you already have your your next note the A prepared in advance across mm -hmm. that'll help the string working. Whereas if you leave it and then press it down it's, it's not going to okay. be the help your bow at all. Okay that's So now, how do we use cross string crossing with the wrist? Which, which one would that be of the string? Vertical. 
Yes. That should have been easier. No, yeah, it is. <laughs> it just shows you that you. It's not never, second nature. No, really not. Right. So now it is. The, the first four movement of the wrist, we use the string copy. Okay. Um, I mentioned the other one. Do you remember what we use the, the rotary action for? Here's it back again. Maybe I'll see if my ears. Do you remember we talked about it just when we, when we did this portato stroke? So in other words, the wrist is, is doing this, slightly. Oh, I guess it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, it's very, very, very slightly, hardly visible, but mm. you're actually doing this with the bow. Okay. If I was exaggerating, I'd, for, to show you, I'd go, oh, yes, um. oh, yeah, okay. okay. But that's the movement of the wrist. It's very, very simple, mm. hardly. And another thing, we talk about the wrist, why it's important to keep the fingers close, because to move your wrist in any of the three ways, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you've okay. got your fingers like this, That's a good uh, it's locked. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's locked. So you cannot move, try moving your wrist. And now, when you put your fingers close together, you lose the finger near, near support the, this finger. Okay. So when it's near, try as near as possible, just because each bow stroke we have it uses different holes. You know, it depends what you're doing with the bow. Yeah. So there's no fixed, we don't, Grip it and fix it forever. That's, that's the way you hold the bow. No, yeah, yeah. what you're doing with it. Okay. So, um, I'm just about our interest. Yeah. It? Okay. No, actually, go on. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so, it's depending what you're doing with it. Yeah. So, All right. You know, if you're playing loud, you want to evenly spread the weight. But if you're playing sort of, um, sort of thing, and I'm using the wrist vertically, then you play this slow motion. Just play that for me, actually, just separate notes. Just so we can get you using your wrist. Like this, as well. Yeah. So down, up, down, up, down, up. Just only wrist. That's it. Don't confuse using your wrist by using fingers. Your, your fingers yeah. are just complicated issues. So yeah. Don't try and move your fingers. Just yeah. keep the fingers resting on the bow. Okay. And try and, and in the middle of the bow, try and make it easier. Yeah. And, and just first cut up and down. Advance. 
and that's called finger legato. It means okay. it means a bit like a guitarist plays, you know. So in other words, already Ten. all prepared Ten. in advance, a bit like playing in chords. So you haven't got to think about too much whilst you're doing other things. Yeah. Yeah. So let's try now um, putting all that together. <laughs> Not that just deconstructed it all. Yeah. yeah. Putting all that together. No, there's a few bits of this in there. Go on then. Let's have a is a phrase which just has a beautiful sort of uh, shape to it. Yeah. It arrives here, it goes from here. That's the emotional input. Then mm -hmm. you say, how do I do it? Okay. That's the technical aspect. Okay. That's when we don't need to get involved in what we're doing. Okay. We have to actually say, how is that possible? How do we make it possible? Okay. And these are the techniques we're discussing now, right? Well, we have to make sure, obviously, that the left hand is legato, has got prepared string crossing. The right hand is not going to stop. It's going to have the rotary action of the wrist, and all this stuff, yeah, which will come second nature to you once once you realise that everything's done. Practice, practice, but practice must be completely without emotion. Okay. okay, okay, always cold, right? Okay, I see what you mean. And then you'll learn more, you'll hear more, you'll produce more. Okay. I'm definitely not being emotional. Good. Uh, I'm going 
going to use a little bit of pressure with my forefinger, um, yeah. but not stop the motion of my bow. Yes, exactly. Um, there is a little bit of wrist action in changing strings just from the G to the yes. D. Yes, yes. Although I can take the hand marks back and push. Um, and what's going to help that wrist action? Close things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, close things. things. Yeah, that's great. Actually, that looks great. Well, that, that's it. See how easy it is to move your wrists when it's when your fingers are close. Very. That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Okay. 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 So that's the sort of action. Okay. Of the, of the right hand. Right hand. Now left hand. What about left hand? What does that have to do? Well, I just have to remember to keep my it's economy of economy of fingers. So yeah. if I can just remember to um, already have the second finger on the D string singing while I'm playing yeah. the uh, E on the G string. Exactly, exactly. Okay. And it's putting those two things together independently, mm. not putting it all into one kind of file and making it a mishmash of both. Yeah. Okay. So it's actually just being able to think of the two things at once. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I, I'm going to suggest something ridiculous that, that you should do at home. It's practice with the television on. Just something distracting you because oh, what's happening, mean. you get very involved in what you're doing and so involved that you can't actually see it. I okay. think okay. you need a distraction so you can just get, you know, not be emotionally involved and, uh, and even when I'm talking to you I can actually do what I need to do because okay. I've decided my brain is independent of my emotions. Okay? okay. In, yeah. in that sense. So you need to you need to know. Okay. Play it one more last time and then we'll I think we'll call it a day as far as <laughs> no, no, it's good. So, um, well, I think we'll leave the filming at that point, and that was, that was all about independence of right and left hand. Right hand.